for the day is this Coleman PowerMate 5000 watt generator. It's a 10 horsepower Tecumseh motor and it's been sitting outside for about seven or eight years without being started. We took one look at this thing and we knew it was going to need to be completely refurbished. When we disconnected the gas line, uh, water and dirt just poured out of the, the fuel line and we're going to have to definitely flush that fuel tank and I'm going to take that carburetor off right now and start getting it cleaned up. Well, maybe you can see the carburetor a little bit better now. It's pretty cruddy. Um, I'm going to use some carburetor cleaner and some penetrating oil on it. We're going to adjust the float level, clean the jets out, uh, make sure the float's not sticking. Uh, that's about like I expected. There's uh, literally dirt inside of the carburetor. And uh, it looks like there might be some kind of a nest in there. That float's definitely stuck. It's going to take some real good cleaning to get this thing working again. Once I got this carburetor bowl cleaned, I noticed that right in the bottom of it is a hole that was caused uh, by corrosion. Water sitting in the uh, carburetor bowl. This fuel tank has a fuel shutoff valve underneath and I've got water in the tank and you can see that uh, water is just barely dribbling out. I'm going to have to work on that valve. After flushing the fuel tank and cleaning out the fuel valve, we have a real nice flow of fuel. I got this heat shield uh, sanded and uh, most of the surface rust removed, so I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of primer on it before I paint it. The oil in this generator is several years old and it most likely has uh, acid in it or water or other contaminants. So we're going to go ahead and change that out to be on the safe side. It looks pretty black anyway. It looks like it's due for an oil change. Okay, all the oil has been drained. that was in this thing looks like it's seen better days. It's a little bit rusty and a little bit burned so we're going to put a new one in it. Got a brand new champion here. We're just going to check to confirm that the gap on this plug is 22 thousandths like it's supposed to be. After we got the old carburetor cleaned up um, and we examined it pretty close, we decided it would just be best to go with a new carburetor for the best performance. So we've got this brand spanking new carburetor we're going to stick right on there. We're going to put a new gasket on it. We completed the refurb on this generator. We flushed the gas tank, cleaned it out, put fresh gas in it, put a new spark plug on it, 
new carburetor and change the oil. Let's see how it runs. <laughs> 